All right. So in problem number three, we've got a 100 gram ball moving directly north, 10 meters per second. We've got a second ball also weighing 100 grams. So moving at two meters per second directly south, and they're moving right towards each other, they're gonna collide. After the collision, we're told that this first ball has a velocity of five meters per second still north. Question is, what is the velocity of this second ball after the collision? So in this case, it's totally just conservation of momentum. So in this case, if we look at the total momentum, there's two objects here, and we're just gonna look at their total momentum in this one direction. So this is a one-dimensional problem. So motion is only along this one direction, both before and after the collision. And so in this case, your initial momentum, 100 grams is the same as? 0.1 kilograms. So, and I'll start with the first object. What's his velocity? Great, and the second object, also 0.1 kilograms, uh, like what you just said. So two meters per second, but that's south. So in this case, we'll, I'm gonna make north positive, south negative, which is why we'll subtract as Kat just said. Awesome, and so what's the total momentum before the collisions of these two objects? What is it, sorry? 0.8. Awesome. 0.8 kilogram meters per second. All right, after the collision here, what's the total momentum gonna be? After the collision, what's the total? Good, after the collision, our total momentum between the two objects still has to add up to this. And being positive, it has to overall be towards the north. And so in this case, we know the momentum of object number one, so is 0 0.1 kilograms times five meters per second, that's north, so it's positive five. And then it's the second one is 0.1 kilograms times some velocity that we don't know. But we still know that this has to total out to our initial momentum because momentum is conserved. And so in this case, if these add up to 0.8, what does this velocity have to be? Good, three meters per second, positive three meters per second, so three meters per second north. Awesome, that is the final velocity of that second ball. So the second question for part three, or for number three here, part two of this uh, number three, uh, was this collision elastic, inelastic, or perfectly inelastic? Well, we can answer one of those questions already. So which one of these can we rule out right off the bat? Perfectly inelastic, how do we know it wasn't perfectly inelastic? Yeah, if they have different velocities, then they're not stuck together. So it's not perfectly inelastic. Now, how do I judge between whether it's elastic or just plain old inelastic? Yeah, let's look at the, see if there's a change in kinetic energy. So what's the formula for kinetic energy again? Yeah. And so initially here, if we find the kinetic energy of the two balls, we'll have one half 0.1 kilograms times 10 meters per second all squared, added with one half 0.1 kilograms and the other one was moving at two meters per second squared. Now is that plus two or minus two? So it turns out I don't really care because kinetic energy, well it's squared anyways, but kinetic energy is a scalar, not a vector. It does not have direction associated with it whatsoever. All right, and so if we add these together, what do we get for a kinetic energy before the collision? Five point two what? Uh, cool. Awesome. So, and then after the collision here, now that we know the final velocity of the second one, one half times point one kilograms. So, first ball five meters per second. Second ball one half point one kilograms, and now three meters per second. And what's the total kinetic energy after the collision? Three point what? Three point what? I said it's three point five. Oh, you're talking about that? I got one point three or one point seven. You got one point seven. Let's try this again. So five squared is twenty-five times point one is two point five times a half is one point two five. Three squared is nine point nine. Half is point four five. Awesome. So what did that come out to? One point seven. 
So, was kinetic energy conserved? No. So what kind of collision was this? Inelastic. So definitely not elastic. So, but again, not perfectly inelastic because the objects didn't stick together. Awesome.